we're only going to be as good as our offensive line. And you see where we're at right now. Pacific beat us two years ago here. It's the first time since 1996. I remember it, and they, they're good. So they're going to be ready. And we have skilled kids. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're okay. But are they back from last year? Yes. But we can't live on our laurels. You can't live just because a lot of all conference means absolutely nothing. Those kids have got to step up. But daggone it, you saw us. You saw us run this KC Hill. You saw us push the dummies up the hill. We're going to get there. And we have work to do. Jacob Brinkman played that left tackle. He's back. Uh, Andrew Mounty, left guard. He's back. Uh, our center, we got to replace him. And you know, Will Devine stepping in there right now is done a good job. But he's a junior. He hasn't played varsity. He's not as big as he wants. So he's got to get a little. He's got to get a little kick to him yet. But he's doing fine. Right tackle, right guard, uh, probably Jacob Gild or Jacob Gildas. He was he was in the line mix starting there last year. And the other one's Brandon Kleister. So yeah, that's our nucleus. But uh, one injury, gosh, I'll get those kids got to play both ways. That's why we're running. So some junior. Some sophomore is going to have to step up and be ready to help us. I, overall assessment, they're willing to work because when it comes hot, it's going to get hot and we're going to end up down the trenches against Pacific and whoever. Gosh, dog, it'll pay off in a long run. We will be ready, but I'm just excited as can be for the challenge. Cohen Zeldman has had a great preseason. He's throwing the ball well. He's showing speed. His reads are a lot better. I think one reason Jay Smittler is a junior quarterback is pushing him which I think is great to have competition. And they both have brought, they both bring different things to the game. We may use them both. But Cohen, yeah, Cohen's, we were running sprints yesterday, Cohen can flat fly. That's where he runs, he plays in the state as a freshman and a sophomore. And last year he battled that injury, but he'll be fine. Nathan Kill back there, but Hayden Wolf as a junior. Uh, we've got some kids back there. Put those two kids back there and said he's Sebastian Phila. Um, our skilled kids, yeah, there, there's, I don't want to, we're not cocking. We know they're back, but it's, it's what have you done for me lately? Just because you were All-State and All-Conference and all that stuff last year. Tate Marquardt was our leading receiver. That was last year. What can you do this year? Sam Tuker, Brody Denbo, uh, and Will Hurt, all those guys. So, I can smile, yes, but deck on it. Let's get after it. The one weak spot right now is our linebacker core. We've got shoes to fill. Lucas Harden has a chance to be great. He has that injury bug. He's got to stay away from injuries. He's got a chance. Mason Wilmershire has got to be there. Hayden Wolf will be there. Sebastian Phyllis. So a lot of guys moving around, but there's the question mark right there. Well, you know what? Right now we're in that AAA in St. Dominic where they were in the finals. Lutheran St. Charles lost in the semifinals. Yeah, yeah, I know. They're all there. And we play them again this year. So it's not about week one. It's about week nine. And last year we got better as we season went along. I think that's why we shocked Herman because we were one and nine the year before. So now people were saying, oh, you're gonna be good. Oh, we might be all right. <laughs> Plain and simple. Guilt, they know me well enough. Guys, we're okay. So by God, we're okay. We're not great yet.